step one is to find a really nice place to set up your gazebo. Today we're setting up on the Gold Coast Broadwater in Queensland. Beautiful spot. Your gazebo and remove all the dry, soft top sand uh, ready for the first leg to go in. Step, step three is to use the guard as a template to dig a hole 30 centimetres deep ready to put your first leg in. The next step is to fit the guard to the leg of the gazebo and place the first leg of the gazebo inside the hole. Fill the hole with wet sand and pack down hard. Repeat this process for all four legs and you'll have your gazebo standing up held down by wet sand. But this is not the end. The next step is the most important. Take a bucket of water and pour it down around each of the gazebo feet or gazebo guards. This helps to compact the sand and it actually is, uh, moves down through the sand and replaces the air between the grains of sand. What this does is induce a vacuum when you try and lift the actual leg out and it makes the guard much, much stronger at holding your leg in place. Once you have done this at all four of the legs, you'll find that the gazebo is held firmly in place regardless of the wind's strength. Once you've got the guards on all four legs and things are firmly in place, you can relax and enjoy your day at the beach without having to worry about your gazebo taking off down the beach.